Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to welcome Chairman Hochberg. And Ranking uh, Member, it would be helpful if you pulled the mic up. Thank you. Here we are gathered again to discuss issues that ignore the central fact that the charter of the XM Bank is set to expire in 26 legislative days unless this body takes action. This is serious, and I can assure you that as eager and driven as some Republicans are to let the clock run out on the Export-Import Bank, there are others who are even more hopeful that they will succeed. That would be the roughly 60 other governments in the world, countries like China and Russia, that would love to see the XM Bank disappear. The consequences of failing to reauthorize the bank are real on our nation's competitiveness, on U.S. companies, and on the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of American families that work so hard just to make ends meet. It is simply shameful that not one single commitment has been made by the chairman of the Financial Services Committee to take up legislation to reauthorize the bank. I certainly agree with Speaker Boehner's comments this morning that, he said, quote, there are thousands of jobs on the line that would disappear pretty quickly if the bank were to disappear. To ensure this body gets a vote on the floor earlier today, I join Representatives Moore and Heck on the Financial Services Committee to initiate a discharge petition that would bring renewal legislation up for a vote in the House if the petition is supported by a majority of the members. I urge all members to sign on, especially my Republican colleagues, for whom this is a chance to stand up for American jobs and businesses by rejecting the vocal right wing of your party that I really don't believe reflects the values shared by many of us here from both parties. What we are doing here today isn't about oversight. It's about finding excuses. It's about making up reasons to delay actions. It's a disservice to the American public that expects and deserves better. Thank you. And I just want to reiterate to my Republican colleagues, no matter how much pressure you may be getting from certain quarters, no much, how much you fear your Chairman Henselin, no matter how much you will tend to ignore your constituents, you got to stand up and you got to stand for something. I mean, you're adults. I don't know why you would be hamstrung by one individual that will tell you what you can and what you cannot do. You were elected by the people to represent them. You ought to get about the business of doing it. I'm sick and tired of this. And I yield back the balance of my time. <laughs> the uh, gentlelady yields back. 